day on Zoom. Five, six, seven, eight. I went to the Amazon rainforest with three of my classmates. We brought a video camera. We all learned how to use it, and we took turns documenting our trip. Close up. Your plates are so clean. How did you get them that way? We used spot three, of course. <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! because you're watching Zoom. Well, Kimmy and Nicholas L. of Highland, Indiana are Zoomers also because they sent us this zinger. Why don't you Zoom along and try this at home? Okay, Kenny, Kay. stretch your arm out so it's barely touching the wall. So like, like, like this? Yeah. And now bend your arm back, stay in your place, bend your arm back, and rub your elbow hard. What, what, this one? No, that one. <laughs> oh. Okay. It was like, huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay now stretch your arm back and see what happens. <laughs> what, what was that? Wait a second. It feels like your arm shrunk. Yeah. yeah. Can I try it, boys? Sure. Okay. Turn your body, straight, yeah, turn your body straight like this. Try it like that. There you go. I'll tell you when you stop. Hang getting hot yet? Yeah, a little. Okay. See? It wow. <laughs> My hand shrunk. <laughs> Let me try. Cool. Barely touching? Barely touching. Wait, hold on. Let's see. It's weird. Mm. Okay. It shrunk. <laughs> it shrunk. This much. I shrunk. That's cool. I know. Why does it do this? You're reaching out, and then when you rub it back, you, you like, put, pull yourself back, and then you just go, that is cool. I like that. Yeah. And do it again. Yeah, that's that was fun. awesome. Okay. Okay. Now, put your left arm. Okay. Ready? Ready? Left arm. No, stand straight. Stand straight to your face in the wall. Put your wall. left arm in. Yeah. Ready? Now, barely touch it. No. Rub. Go. I'll tell you what, guys. Talk when you One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. ten. Whoa. Whoa! Me the most. Or, yeah, me the most, then comes Kenny, then comes Buzz. I just felt like this. <laughs> That's really cool. Good job. Sweet. If you have any zingers, send them to Zoom. Zoom. What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you? One morning, I woke up. And uh, it was a morning when we had to do an assignment for second grade. We had to do a speech. And for some reason, 
I spoke pig Latin while I was doing the speech. Zoop! One of the most embarrassing things that ever happened to me was I was skating in front of 400 people and I tripped and fell. Zoof! The most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me was I was on a um, after school trip with the rest of my aftercare. We went down to the beach and for some reason everyone was looking at me right when I got egged on the head by a seagull. Zoof! bananas? Well, if you do, you're going to love these frozen banana treats. They were sent in by Veronica C. of Sacramento, California. You can make them at home. All you do is put a popsicle stick at the end of a banana, roll it in some honey and then granola, and freeze it. They're a very healthy snack. All you'll need to make one is a banana that's peeled and cut in half, some popsicle sticks, honey, and granola. Oh yeah, and a plate that has wax paper over it, just so you can freeze the bananas on. Take your banana, popsicle stick, and stick it right in there. Way up. Yeah, that's good. Go, go, go. That's good. And then take your banana, Roll it in some honey. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, I love honey. Nice. <laughs> okay. And then roll in some granola. It's easier to sprinkle it on. And you could get lots more. That's one. Oh yeah, and here's a tip. Put the honey and granola on a piece of wax paper. Just for easy cleanup. All right. Now, ooh, 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 okay. Put it on plate. Put on some more honey. And just roll this up. Ew. Oops. Okay, that's kind of messy. Oh, no. Broke my banana. That's good. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> right up there. Now, all you gotta do is freeze them, but just for a couple of hours. All right. Just for a couple of hours, not too long, though. Also be frozen solid. Okay. I have one all ready to eat. This is what it will look like when it's all done. Bon appetit. My name is Kaylee. I went to the Amazon rainforest with three of my classmates. This is Miss Mason, our science teacher at Martin Luther King School. She won an award for being one of the best science teachers in the country, and she decided to bring some kids to the rainforest with the money she got. We brought a video camera. We all learned how to use it, and we took turns documenting our trip. Close up. <laughs> My camera. <laughs> we saw a lot of different kinds of life in the rainforest. There's all these different kind of butterflies. Here's the blue one again. I'm amazed at its color. Is it recording? This is a lizard. It got a, a green stripe on the top of its head. It's pretty cool. You got really, really close to some of these animals, and there was just wildlife everywhere. This is Charlie. Charlie was a capybara. It's the largest rodent in the world. He was really friendly, and he would give him raisins. Because this was the Amazon River, we could go anywhere by boat. 
in the Amazon River, there's three different kinds of water. There's clear water, there's brown water, and there's black water. One of the things we did on the river was we tested the water to just see what the difference was. In the black water, there's a higher level of acidity. That's what causes the darker color. This is the canopy walkway. The canopy is the upper part of the trees. It's the very, very highest part of the rainforest. You can see everything for miles around, and we were very, very high up. This is a logging boat. It's taking the trees out of the rainforest, and it's just kind of a sad thing to see. It's just a bad thing. They're taking the life of the rainforest, and it's just really amazing to see the rainforest, and it's horrible to see it destroyed. Our school, Martin Luther King, adopted a school in the rainforest. They were only going to sing us a couple songs, but then we asked them to sing more songs. The kids down in Peru played soccer barefoot and you're wearing these heavy hiking boots and you had to avoid stepping on their toes. It's really nice just seeing the people and just knowing they're kind of like you, but also just knowing you're different and you can still kind of be friends. Dad, a poem by Kylie S. of Bettendorf, Iowa. I'm lying in bed. I begin to shake. Something has caused me to come wide awake. Oh my goodness, what could it be? It's beginning to scare the life out of me. What's that sound? Is it a lion roaring? Oh my goodness, it's just Dad snoring. Earlier on Zoom, we started building the invention that pours milk into a glass. It's the type of invention that Rube Goldberg, a guy who made simple tasks very complicated, would have designed. But since Rube Goldberg's inventions were so complicated, he never ended up building them. He only drew cartoons of them. We've actually built ours. To make our invention as complicated as a Rube Goldberg machine, we decided that there'd have to be 25 steps. Right now, we have 18. Last time, we figured out the last step. How to get the milk to pour into the glass. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, we have chemical reaction. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, come on, baby. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. Pour, pour, baby, pour. Pour, pour, pour. Up, get under, get get more under the cup. Is it going? Yeah. Under the cup? Uh-oh, guys, I think it might overflow. I think it's going a little too much. It's going to blow. No. Oh, we did it. We did it. It worked. We got milk in a cup. Then we started working on the beginning steps. It all starts off when I push this doorbell. Want to see? All right, guys, here it goes. Here we go. And yes. Yes, yes, hard. Yes, 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 it's working. Yes, 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 oh, it's working. It's working. Yes, come on, here we go, come on, come on, come on, swing, swing. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. There it goes. Look, there it goes. Oh, look at this thing. This is so cool. I know. Yes, it's, it's going to work. <gasps> yes! It's going to go back and it's going to still... Okay. Right. Now it's going to go back the other way. Yeah, that, that, it's working. It's working. Oh. Here's how it works. The doorbell completes an electric circuit, which releases energy from these batteries and causes the fan to turn. The turning fan pulls out this piece of cardboard, which releases the marble. 
The energy from the falling marble gives a little push to this can, which rolls uphill and hits the next can. The reason they roll uphill is because there are weights taped on the inside. When the weights fall down, they want to pull the can forward and up the hill. The last can knocks over some dominoes, which pushes an astronaut off the table. The astronaut pulls on a clip and releases the tetherball. Because gravity is pulling on the tetherball, it starts to fall. And as it unwinds, it hits this chair. The chair is going to hit this lever, which releases this string, which lets the balloon unwind and deflate. Once the balloon is deflated, it drops these weights on this bottle and knocks it off the table. The force of the falling bottle pulls the chair forward onto this bridge, and the marbles inside this can will spill out. Now that you know how it works, do you want to see it again? All right, guys, here it goes. Here we go. And... Yes! Yes, yes. it worked! Yes, yes, yes! yes. Yes! Yes! It's working! Yes! Yes! Oh, it's working! It's working! Oh, yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Swing! 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 Yes! Yes! There it goes! Look! There it goes! Look at it! Come on! This is so cool! I know! Is it gonna work? Yes! It's gonna go back and it's gonna still. Okay. Right. Now it's gonna go back the other way. Yes, yeah, that's it. It's working. It's working. Oh. Yeah! Yes, that was so good job. We did yeah. awesome. Oh, that was oh. awesome. Why don't you try making your own Rube Goldberg invention at home? It doesn't have to be as complicated as ours. You can start with some simpler steps. Try balancing a row of dominoes. When they fall, they can knock over a ball that's balanced on top of a folder. Or have the ball knock over a balanced soda bottle. Try it and send your designs to Zoom. Hey, Francis. Yeah, Buzz? What do sea monsters eat for lunch? I don't know. Fish and ships. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nathan Jay of Belchertown, Massachusetts, sent us these Fanny Dewey's. Fanny Dewey likes sheets, but doesn't like towels. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dewey likes jazz, but doesn't like music. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dewey likes streets, but doesn't like roads. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley is one funny lady, but there's a reason why she likes some things and doesn't like others. Once you've figured out the reason, create your own Fanny Dooleys and send them to Zoom. This is our project named Be Happy. It's by me, Brian Height, and my friend over here, Patrick Cardwell. The object is to turn on the smiley face's eyes. See, get them two eyes right there. The first step would be I insert the coin that goes down this inclined plane and hits this lever that hits this wedge that lets the marble roll free all the way down here into this box. The box is attached to a catapult, which is attached to a string that goes up through two pulleys, which is attached to a big bag of weights that takes the catapult up and shoots the marble. Then the marble goes through this inclined plane and hits this thing. It goes into a wheel and axle, which goes down and throws the marble onto an inclined plane. Then the marble will roll down this inclined plane into this box that flicks on this electrical switch that turns on the smiley face's eyes. And this is how it works. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>
Zoom reviews, Fox. Jesse W. of Hillsboro, Oregon, sent us a review of this picture book called How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World by Marjorie Priceman. Here's what she had to say. This book is about a girl that travels around the world to get ingredients for an apple pie. Then she goes home and makes the apple pie. I like this story because the girl goes around the world and gets a fresh ingredient from each country. I love fresh food. I bet the apple pie must have tasted very good. I think the book is special because you feel like you're in the book. Do you have a favorite book that you want to tell us about? If you do, send your review to Zoom, Box 350, Boston, Mass, 02134. Or to the Zoom website at pbskids.org. Don't forget to tell us what it's about and why you love it. member of the Zoom team. After watching Zoom, Michael F. of Birmingham, Alabama, wanted to do something to help kids who are less fortunate. He thought about what he could do and decided to make books about the state capitol building. Then he sold the books and used the money to buy toys for kids who live in a local foster home. Good going, Michael. Do you volunteer your time? If you do, you're already a member of the Zoom team. Make sure to tell us about it at the Zoom website where you can also learn about what other kids are doing to make a difference in their communities. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! Zoom game! This game called Rope Tag was sent in by Mad G of Lawrence, Kansas. All you need to play is a rope that's four or five feet long, like this one. Everybody stands in a circle, except for the person holding the rope. The person holding the rope spins the rope low to the ground. Everybody else has to jump over it. The rope should be spinning fast enough so that it doesn't touch the ground, but slow enough so that players can jump over it. If you get tagged by the rope, then you're out. The last person not tagged by the rope is the winner. Okay, guys, want to play? Yep. Right. Yeah. I'll be in the middle first. Right. I'll uh, back off for a minute. Wow! Oh, 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 It's so hard. I tried to jump down. I know when you're on this side, it's hard. All right. I'll start it over here so it gets faster. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Penny. Oh, I am busy. Like okay, uh, Eric, you're the spinner. Okay. Okay. Good job, right. Eric. Okay. Woohoo. Start on that side. All right, ready? I'm starting with you and Tom. Get in the air. Hit Rachel. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, she jumped on top of it. Okay, yeah. good job. Yeah, I'm doing her. Okay, you're ready. Did you get them that way? We use spot free 
face, of course. Oh, I see. Okay. What can I get for you, ma'am? I'll have the cheeseburger special. Okay. And may I comment on how shiny you get your glasses. How do you get them so sparkling? We use spot free. Oh, hmm. What will you be having? Uh, I'll have the macaroni and cheese, please. And I've been told you keep your dishes very clean. What do you use? Could I see it, please? Okay. Spot free. Come out here. These people want to see you. This is spot free. Dear. Want to make your next party Zoomy? To help you plan your celebration, go to Zoom Party at the Zoom website, pbskids.org, or America Online keyword, PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom. And will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundation, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston. Do you volunteer your time? If you do, you are already a member of the Zoom team. Make sure to tell us about it at the Zoom website at pbskids.org, where you can learn what other kids are doing to volunteer their time. Zoom into action and join the Zoom team. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad to see you for a super deep, super time. Come and play with us on Barney and Friends. We'll sing some songs. We're going on a jungle adventure. To see what we can see. Play fun games. <laughs> Let's go! And even hear some great stories. I am Jack. And this is the house that Jack built. We can't have fun if we don't take turns. And when we use our imaginations, we can go anywhere and do most anything. It's snowing, it's snowing, the treetops say you're glowing. Look at me, I'm dancing. I can feel the dancing beat. So come and join the fun. I'll be looking for you. You're watching WSRE proudly serving the Gulf Coast for 35 years.